clip this. This is TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, when it comes to... Is, are we talking about competition or... Look, you take the question how you take it and tell me what answer comes from you. So the, things, the thing is, most of the comedians now, the, the seasoned comedians, mm. we're part of the journey where we're all struggling in the beginning. So we know the difficulty of each one of us experience. So we to, for, for it to, make, to, to work, we, we made a decision to support each other, mm. to not be a competition to each other, you know, it has to be because one if one only one only one comedian is going up you bring the te- the nine you yeah. know you carry the nine with you but this na- if this nine tries to bring you down you're all down no yeah. one is there anymore you yeah. know so i think uh, so far um i would say there's a very strong community f- you know uh, of stand up comedians here and i, I know i, I need to hear it's sure so for sure it captures everything yeah, right? hi yeah. sure you know we I'm... started already yeah we're starting first of all since we're sure i have to give a huge shout out to sure for making these very special beautiful real gold mics for the episode and i've had them for a while if i'm mm-hmm. going to be honest <clears throat> but i was saving them for something special and since we have the white comedy royalty here with us <laughs> Ima, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's been a long time coming. I'm a big fan. I, no, I'm a big fan. No, no, I'm a big fan. Okay, we both are fans. No, you hang up. So let's be only no, fans. No, you hang up first. <laughs> How are you? I'm How was good. the Thank Philippines, dude? Thank you so dude? much. Um, it, was, it was beautiful. You know, I, I had a show there, no? That's yeah. why the last in the, the last schedule we set that it didn't happen because I was there for two days. Actually, one week. Mm. I met my, with my family after the show. It went wild because I wasn't expecting that they would get my humor. Because though I'm from mm. Philippines, but I'm from the south, and I perform for the people from from the north. Okay. So there was a, like no common references. But English I thought, or, or Tagalog? It, it was in English. Okay. Yes. But one second, I love the mic. They're so nice, I right? I have a big bag. I can steal this yeah, today. Yeah, right. It's, it's a big box. <laughs> it's a big box humor. But yeah, look, you know, with your show there. If you realized that it wasn't going well, all you had to do was break out into Whitney Houston and the whole crowd would have joined you and then it would have turned into a karaoke show and that's they the would have pro- forgot uh, it. That's the problem because you have this um, misconception. You guys think that all Filipinos can sing. I'm one of the... I'm the one... I'm part of the 1% that cannot sing. You're a liar. Well, I've seen I, you I'm on stage la- singing. As for Filipino standards... Now, the lyrics of the songs <laughs> you were singing were a little different, but we'll get into them later. Yes. But you can sing. You can sing. No, so, so it's like this. Um, you know, Filipino is like the singer factory right yeah, yeah. and my voice my range sounds like i just work in the factories <laughs> okay but the fact that you say range already proves that you can sing because i ain't got no range i've got Aww. one line naki na na kita support mary jane Wait, how do you- yeah you don't know about me oh, i was you raised dated with a lot filipinos of filipino. oh no well, you were raised. Of, they did raise me in one way or another. It, would have, it sounded hot <laughs> so, that when you were dating. Yeah, something raised, but okay. but like uh, yeah, upstairs where I where I grew up, I had Breda and Broilan, who uh, are <laughs> my neighbors and really close friends. Oh my god! And their grandma used to smoke a cigarette backwards. She was so old that if she lit it the other way, she was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna continue smoking." <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Really? How young yeah. were you? Where was, where was that? Where were you staying this at the London. time? London, okay. Yeah, yeah. So born here, raised in London from when I was five. Oh, um, nice. Came back here 15 years now. Why? So I don't know. Why? London is... A sh- I know, I know. Sorry. It's every, it's I mean, Dubai hole. is... Why not Dubai, yeah, right? Why yeah. not? Like, where else could you literally finish work and then go to the beach and still spend four I hours know. there? Oh, yeah. I mean, we say that like we work. <laughs> <laughs> For real people, no, for real, for real though, adults like, who work. I know. I love. I love being here. Yeah? The safety, the security. You know, like everything. everything. We are so spoiled here. Super spoiled. Yeah. But I like it. Everyone's mm, always said too. to me, "Oh yeah, your kids are gonna grow up in a bubble," and I'm like, "Yeah, great. Let them grow up and and die in the bubble too. Like it's not. 
Yeah, but I think I think this should be the ideal um, setup we should raise our kids with, you know, like yeah. Every now and then I trip them up when they're running in the hallway to show them life's <laughs> real and things happen. <laughs> you know what Some I mean? people don't like it. To, it's not, they said it's not conducive to raise a family here, but <laughs> depends, you know. I, I I beg to differ. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it, every you know each to his own. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the Philippines. What when you say is is Philippines big in comedy? A very different form of comedy, What's or I would say styles? different humor, because mostly the ones that we do now, the, the standard, like you know, uh, like what Joker does, yeah. what we do, uh, it just started out in the Philippines re recently, and it, it started out in 2008, but now it's booming, like it's mm -hmm. slowly growing, because the mainstream there was um, the humor with the... Um, gay comedians okay. you know you yeah, go to yeah. a gay bar and it's mostly like an insult comedy yeah, yeah. and it's not mainstream because it's very edgy very um, very blue uh, but it was in the gay community or would straight people go there straight and enjoy people would it go well? there okay. but because yeah. but they are when you want to go when you want to see stand-up comedy you have to go to a gay bar you yeah. know there, and rarely you see a full of uh, sorry uh, women um comedian as well it's mostly like gays like who dresses, what, what, dresses what, women. sorry 2024 i don't know how yeah, to, yeah, what to call know, them like, now like one dress, of those letters I, 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 don't, I wouldn't say they're trans because yeah. they're not trans, but they are they drag queens or drag? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, like yeah, and most of them as well are like uh, the comedians are mostly are the comedy are mostly performed by um, celebrities, actors. Like okay, that. so comedians it's not just like guys. General comedians, yeah, 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 yeah. Overall, not not stand up comic. Yeah. So it's not like us here where you have people who like abs, very good friend yeah. of ours. Who's a dentist at the same time? A do you know dentist, what I mean? Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it's not really like th It's not like that. But uh, there are a group of uh, really um, brilliant Filipino comedians who mm. have, you know, um, spearheaded this uh, art form there in, in, the, in, the, in the Philippines. In the Philippines, yes. Yeah, yeah. So we have, can I name yeah, their names? Of course, names? of course. So we have Alex Calieja and the comedy crew and GB Labrador and Comedy Manila. It's still inside Manila in the yeah. northern part of the Philippines. It's still there. It didn't uh, translate yet to, or um, it didn't reach the, the other southern parts. part and eastern part, you know, where I come from. Mm. No, not yet. But in but a way, it's good for them, no? Huh? It's good for them because most comedians, you know, in America, and well, they talk about, the old days of the comedy store with Mitzi Shore and all of huh. these guys, that, that that was the special time of yeah. coming up. So I guess they're still going to experience that now. You guys are kind of yes, creating that pioneering. now for them. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I'm so excited to know that now some one of the crews, they're going to um, one of the clubs. How do you call that? I don't know. <laughs> um, so Alex Kalia and Alex Kalia is one of the biggest, like biggest mm -hmm. stand-up. He's like really the number one stand-up comedian now. Stand-up comic. But English or Tagalog? Tagalog okay. in, in, in the Philippines. And then he's, I just performed with him last uh, nice. last month. Was it last month? I think so, I yeah. Don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, because you never answer your messages with your oh, call, no. so I don't know whether you're in the country no, or not. No, because every... And uh, so funny when... Uh, you said, oh, you're a big star. No, you're not it's true. Fun. I'm like, did you forget I have so many madams? Like, are you no. kidding me? <laughs> no, no. Are you kidding me? No, I multitask, you know? I take care of children. I, I clean their house. <laughs> take care of their husbands. Like, yeah, it's true. What it's really you... weird that you can't get it out of your system. When she came in here, she started doing the chessboard and cleaning up the things. Yeah. I was like, Eva, you're the guest today. You're I have the my star. Apron. <laughs> what are you doing? Take the apron off, dude. That, I mean, you use that in your, in your comedy a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, because my ate, I have an ate, and... Uh, you have a maid? It, no, I don't have a maid. Oh. I have a family member oh, who a Filipina? helps us. Still alive? With the yeah. kids. Yeah, okay. she's still alive. Uh, she's not, honestly, she's like family. She really is. Um, it's quite oh, funny because I want to talk to you about something. So, nice. so she's a big fan of yours as well. And when I told her <gasps> that you were there, she was like, oh, Ima. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, ate Arlet. Ate Ima Arlet, hello, po. Thank you, po. Um... <laughs> Yeah, what was the point I was saying? Yeah, so you use that kind of humor yes, and stuff, right? Yes, yes. But Filipinos in general are the nicest, we happiest are. people in the world. And Thank it's you. insane. Like, they're so nice, they don't want to change the name of their country. <laughs> like, now, because it, it was called the Philippines after yeah, the yeah. Philip, right? Yeah. And now he's gone. They're still, the, no problem. We'll keep it the same. Like, what did it used to be called before? I mean, it's, um, I, that I didn't know, uh, or until now, I don't know what is the, wait. I was doing research. Or so, no, yeah, it's not. It was is something. it Maharlika or something? It, two, it had two names, two islands, something and something. 
Oh my god, I don't know. But don't it's know been like, like it's been, been in Dubai too long, dude. I know, but I don't know. I like I, I didn't know that we ha for sure there was a name, but I was just mm. not aware. That's why I failed. That's why you have to go to school, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, Maybe it was discussing the history yeah, class. Yeah. I was just not there. Yeah. But when you <laughs> when, always when you originally thing. started to, to your comedy career, did you expect to were you like okay i'm going to use that as my not niche but my go to character it wasn't planned at all because the, the the material that i wanted to talk about was my um my personal life and my yeah. marriage and all these things but then the first funny experience i had uh, when i was because I took a workshop right and then as we were progressing with our stuff with our material one time I was um, mistaken for <laughs> and I used to get angry you know like oh okay, I would like to order you know they, they think I was a waitress and then one time I was walking my, with my cousin and my cousin was she was with uh, her baby we were walking and then there was this Arab lady approached us and she told my cousin are you allowed to take the baby of your madam outside? Wow. Yeah, so those things happened while I was uh, preparing, I mean, learned, uh, studying stand up, uh, not studying, like, wow, yeah. <laughs> four year course. Did you do it with Ali? <laughs> yes, yes, okay, Ali and Mina, they're my mentors. Yeah. He's yes. also part of the collective oh, I love that we're it, talking yes. about. Yeah. So when uh, those happened, so I was like, you know what? There is actually, I can actually play the stereotypes mm. and break the stereotypes. So, and um, Ali and Mina were so kind enough to make me understand how to do it. Mm. So, okay, because I wasn't scared, you know, like I didn't want to play, I didn't want to make it worse for us Filipinos. But then I realized that actually, why not call out what is obvious like yeah. when i go on stage people first see me as a Fili as filipina not mm. as a comedian you know so there you go <laughs> I, I i don't think so now because yeah, you command like, maybe you, when do, I you do out. command the stage from the second oh, okay. that you get out there it's not like <laughs> like you you definitely seem veteran level when you come on the stage it's not like oh wow like you know how it is when when people come on and and you can tell they're a bit green or you can tell that they're not quite sure. Like when you come on the stage, it's like, yeah, you motherfuckers relax. I got a good, I got a good 15 minutes for you. I'm here. You oh can forget about God, work and yeah. all that stuff. And it's very natural. And I guess obviously that comes from you. You've been doing your reps and you've been, you know, doing this for so long. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just love it because you do it in a way that's not Thank punching you down. you so much. Because punching, it's easy to, to make jokes about your own country and stuff. Yes, yes. But to do it in a way that, that you do that, is relatable but also empowering i think is really cool thank you so much yeah. my gosh that's me that, that that means a lot to me because see the thing is i would i want to um, make my work as inclusive as uh, you know uh, mm. as possible you know i want everyone to enjoy the show at the end of the day people come to watch to have fun to you know be entertained so mm. um, sometimes of course some people get offended but i think for me with my intention that I want to create this awareness that people are like Filipinos are not only that, you know, mm. like, yes, we have around 700,000 Filipinos in the country and most majority are nurses, doctor, uh, nurses, engineers, um, teachers, teachers, yeah, like a, no, a very yeah. small number of that, actually, Mo uh, in Kuwait, though, mm, Kuwait, Saudi, Kuwait. like majority there are nannies, domestic helpers. Mm. Yeah. Um, so here, so. Uh, when you are mistaken for something like that at first i was i used to get angry but now it's part of my job i always say this as well but now i don't get angry because it's it's there's nothing wrong with this uh, of kind of uh, honorable living yeah, honorable exactly. living no matter what it is yeah like everybody is working hard i always yeah. say everybody's working hard whether you're a ceo a nanny or a scammer it's mm. it's a job you know you have to be prepared. any scammers are working less hard <laughs> i think we're working okay. even less hard I'm than just... scammers to be honest <laughs> no, <laughs> i think we're the, just the scammers no, no, we're no. literally scamming life I'm, right now no, as we're going I'm, through I'm, <laughs> no uh, for me I, i'm for me it's it's a it's there's nothing wrong with those the problem yeah. however is how people treat you when they find out that you mm. are doing those work like I've seen, I've witnessed so many I mean, instances. I've happened. had this conversation with <clears throat> with people before where, so again, like I said to you, Atea Arleta is like family to mm. us. I mean, we, she does her working hours. 
She finishes at six. Mm. She goes, does what she wants. She mm -hmm. can sleep out the house. She can do weekends and come back on Monday. As long as, you know, when the, yeah. when the kids start, it's work. And I was saying that and they were like, I think we were going somewhere. And I was like, no, uh, at this day off today. And they were like, what do you mean day off? And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean day off? That is so like, nice. I was like, do you realize that, you know, that we're all humans? And oh my gosh. like, I've heard stories <laughs> where nannies are not even allowed out the house after they yeah, finish their shift. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah having to stay with these bastards for another yeah. 12 hours mm. after you've been with the annoying kids for 12 hours and with them. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's insane to me. Yeah. That's insane there to me. There was this one influencer from another country. I'll not say which country. Say it, because say it, say it. Let's get in trouble. Say it, say it. <laughs> <laughs> she was, uh, yeah, well, she got in trouble already. Like, she yeah. was complaining that the, the government of the Philippines had, like, stopped sending uh yeah, yeah, send them help to yeah, help, yeah. that country right and then uh, until they change their mm. <clears throat> their uh what do you call this one arrangement for yeah, them yeah. um which they have every right to yeah and then she started ranting on social media oh my mm. god why now they have they need they gotta to they get to keep their passport they have to have can, can you imagine uh, how crazy that the is the salary increase and they should have a day off like can you imagine how crazy that it, is it is like uh, that's when and that when it happened like not just once many times so that's when i was like okay this is it because it's i crazy. need to now this is the time i'm starting to have a platform now i can uh you know like yeah what do you call this one um uh, infuse something mm. social like that issue to yeah, my yeah. work so and and to be honest with you i have people here my f like people from my the same city relatives f cousins who mm. are working uh, as nannies as maids and yeah, it's so, crazy. so what happens to one Filipina who's experienced mal maltreatment, mm. abuse, obviously it's so close to my heart, these yeah. issues, because I'm selling, telling you my, my, my cousins are, my yeah. sisters, my relatives are working. I don't understand working it. I just think you're a terrible human being. If you feel like any other human being mm. should have less rights because of the job, let's just put it this way. If you were to do the job, mm. you can't even do the job they do. Yeah. <laughs> Because you don't have the patience and the willpower and everything. It's not easy being Good in luck. and looking after kids and <laughs> cleaning the house and all that yeah. stuff. Like, like for me, it was always a thing for me. Like, uh, like I said, our relationship, like Arlette is going to be with us when the kids are 25, 26. She's still going to be living in our house when we don't. She's you know, so lucky either. to have you. Dude, honestly, if you know the stuff we do, like she's like my sister, dude. I prank her all the time where I'll... I'll put the, the sofa in front of her room door and I'll knock on the door to open it. This is blocked. Dude, she comes in the house like when she's you not know, on the weekends and she's drunk and I'm like, go in your room, dude. You've got it. Like, she's just like, oh. like she's like, I literally called her now. I was like, Ate, you have to try and find me some balot, bro. I want to bring some balot to the episode. There and she is was balot like, there? No. Balot let's there? talk about oh, this. Okay. Ima, what's going on? Because on one side, you guys are such a lovely people. I don't know, man. And on another <clears throat> side, I <laughs> For those who don't know, Balot is a live baby bird. Is it alive? Well, not live, <laughs> but I mean quite like developed. Like developed, yeah. Like I remember she brought it to the house once and we were just doing this competition between each other to see who can eat it. Obviously she loved it. And I was just like, I can't eat this. I can see the beak. I can see the beak. I can see the beak. Close see the your beak. eyes, baby. You, you like it? You like the look? No, I ate when I was seven, eight. Then after that, I stopped. When I start understand, like when I started understanding, like what, what what's going on here? Like it's. But she was saying it makes you strong and it makes men strong and stuff really? like that. Really? Oh, yeah, the, yeah. No, I, that I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like I did. Like in the family, nobody's really um, like into it. You yeah. know. Dude, and that's crazy. Yeah. Sapin sapin is one thing, but balot. Oh, is, I love sapin sapin. Balot, balot is, uh, is balot. I used to eat the. Um, Cause the you can get different stages the, the, as well. Yes, yes, the sixteen yeah. days something. Yeah. That it, it looks like it's just a small, uh, cute. Uh, just yeah, it's just a cute one. That's fine. Yeah, to eat. Just yeah, the that cute I could eat. Yes, embryos, yes. But after that, I stopped eating. Dude, I've seen people eat them with feathers and shit. Full the twenty-one feathers day and shit. up to nineteen twenty-one days, they were like properly. Like they're like professional birds dude, already. That's like, crazy. Dude. But it's, is that a thing in the Philippines? I mean, it they is, don't. It they is, don't but no, I know about lotus, but one of the they don't go as far of the as Thailand and stuff, right? Where they eat everything. No, 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 no. no, no like, no. what else would be random in the Philippines? Where, if you told me, hey, this is a dish for us. That. <laughs> Like we have the adobo calderita and all that stuff. Where is, where is Ate from? Because I'm from the north and I'm sorry, from the south and it's mostly Muslim uh, okay. area. So I'm from, I'm Muslim. So I we don't, I don't eat. Yeah, I mean, we won't eat whatever they're allowed to eat. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But uh, I heard there are some area they eat um, frogs. 
the fun I, frogs. I frogs I can understand. Yeah. Um, it's like a little mini chicken drumstick. But what legs. I, did Ape answer that question? Because I also no. want to know. <laughs> I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna ask her. Yeah, what, yeah. What the most random thing is? And there is this. I don't know. There is this thing. That one Filipino comedian would joke about about puppies or dogs eaten. I'm not sure. You're but such a horrible person. I don't know. I thought you were so cute. <laughs> You were just so small and nice, and then before the comedy show, you're just picking your tooth on a dog I, bone. No, 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 I don't know which area, which part of this yeah. of the Philippines, though, because wow. I I don't know what's the reference of that joke, Mm-mm. because uh, or maybe he's calling out the the, the generalization. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one town is, or maybe one house or one family is doing yeah, yeah. it now. It's become a Filipino thing. Maybe it's a whole Asian thing that they're they're pushing because you know could be. Was it but China who recently who went through a bit of a dog pandemic? Yeah, they eat yeah. everything. <laughs> dude, it's strange, dude. I don't, I don't get it. Like, why do you just have to eat everything? It doesn't make sense. But I if you're given a, a chance to eat something pool. exotic, what would you eat? Okay, I'm not going to say it on here. Oh, you can't, okay. Um, I mean, I've eaten stuff. I've eaten snake before. I've eaten uh, okay. crickets. I've, you know, the whole Thailand experience. Oh, um, I want to experience grasshoppers, that. I'm scared. Scorpion. I've eaten that stuff, but for the novelty factor of it, not because I was hungry and that was yeah. what I chose to eat. Like, I wouldn't mm-hmm. be like, hey, let's just go get some grasshopper right now. I think the... the, the uh, <laughs> what would you eat? What would you eat? I don't know. Let's if see I, if Peter's going to come and get, cancel this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I ate a uh, duck when I was young. Duck? Yeah, but that is one... That's maybe. normal. Oh, but I don't find it normal now. Egyptians, you should know this. Egyptians, they yeah, eat Yeah, yeah, that's one thing my husband is Egyptian, and rabbit. by the way. Yeah. Like, huh? Rabbit is a very big thing in Egypt. I don't... What? Yeah, so you know Molochia? What? They... Molochia and... Arnab, no, 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 no. Molochia, Molochia and is rabbit. rabbit, no. Molochia is the green... Uh, what's the... Yeah, the... I don't know Molochia. Why am I forgetting the name of the... The green thing, the sticky thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so a lot of the time that's served with rabbit. No. He's probably fed it to you loads of times and you don't even know. Even here in Dubai? Yeah. No, please don't. If you go to Haduta Masriya and all of these places, they have like rabbit and they also have uh, pigeon. You know the stuffed pigeon? You're making me sad. <laughs> no, no, but the pigeons in Egypt are nice. They're not like the English pigeons that are grey and just walk around the place. <laughs> like in Trafalgar Square, like those ones. They're actually very pretty. No, pigeons. please don't tell me. Really? You, you don't know. How have you been with... How long no, have you been with your husband no, now? Ha- no, we, we only eat chicken, chicken, chicken. No, nah, no, nah, he's lying to you. He's feeding beef. You know, one pigeon. time he tried to convince me to eat tongue of a... Yeah, yeah, that I don't understand. Of a what? Of, ca- of a cow or what? Who knows? Depends and what then, kind of Egyptian he is. <laughs> and then there's also the... The, the balls? Hey! Yeah, like the balls why? Not just the balls, the whole thing. Why? Yeah, and that I don't understand. It's like, why do we have to go that far? Because to get to the balls, mm. there's a whole lot of meat that's still left over wow. before you get to the balls. Like, I understand if we're like, we have one cow and we're going through famine mm. and we've finished the leg and the back and the arse and all the rest of it. And then there's like, hey guys, there's these balls left. We haven't had food for nine days. Let's have some balls. <laughs> like, then, I okay, it. yeah, yeah. No, I, no offense meant to those who, who love this kind of uh, you know, f- exotic food, right? I, maybe it's a matter of uh, getting used to it. So maybe when I get used to it, maybe I will also eat. But I mean, you want to get used to eating balls. Whatever is available just in case I'm hungry. <laughs> I mean, I would I'm going to make Ema relax because right now she's being very professional and I don't know why. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm relaxed, but no, I'm panicking yeah. now. I ate Molochia many times. Yeah, lots of times, dude. Ouch. You've eaten? <laughs> lots of times. Oh, no, but wait. Now, okay. You don't know that? No. Okay, is that, a, is, that would count as reason for divorce, right? <laughs> <laughs> one of them, right? You get three. You get three. Okay, now, Khalas, okay. So one thing I no, want to talk to you about that I didn't know. Wait, wait, wait. While you're, while you're eating little the rabbits, rabbits and yes, stuff. Yes, Um. So. We have a cat. Now I'm scared. You can eat it, right? <laughs> My husband will eat it. <laughs> right. no, no, cats are actually, cats are uh, quite, uh, you know, the pharaohs and cats and that. They're, they're quite revered okay. in Egypt. So I think your cat will be okay. Is it a black cat? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's brown, orange, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. One thing, so like I said, with my ate, we we argue with each other like brother and sister. We're Mm. always going. And I noticed something that was very strange. So I tell her something. And she'd be very upset, (laughs) almost crying. (laughs) And I'd be like, ate, what are you doing? This is crazy. 
I literally told you, can you not wash it cold next time, please? And wash it on a hot heat because you shrunk my T-shirt. Like, she takes things very personally sometimes and gets super upset mm. to the point that I'm like, okay, I'm going crazy now because I start to think, did I say it in a mean way or did I say whatever? Mm. And then somebody explained it to me. They said you have something in the Philippines called tampo. Tampo. It's like sulking. Yeah. Yes. And when I found out about that, everything made sense. But oh, how old is she? My age, she's 41. She's 41. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we have this thing called tampo. So, but I would say because she maybe because she cares so much that yeah, she but this wants is what everything I was saying perfect. To her. That's what I was saying. I was like, dude. I had to have a meeting with her. Yeah, I had to sit down yeah. and say, you do realize that so nothing is personal when I'm saying it to you. <laughs> but like, she's so lucky it works with you. Not with my husband. Tampo, <laughs> yalago. Like <laughs> Shoot, tampo, tampo. I'm busy. Yeah, like, yeah. You want to eat or no? But it's a thing, right? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an actual yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's, and it's crazy. I used to use that, um, you know, to because so we, when you we, say we I like used we, to use that. Is that manipulation or is well, it a natural as thing? As a that, kid, we, it became okay. like a manipulation tool for us as a kid. Like when my parents don't didn't want to, like we couldn't get what we wanted. Okay. We'll not talk to our parents. I would not go out and eat with them. And then I know the next day is gonna be there already. Like oh my gosh, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> so like yeah, it it's yeah, it's like that. And you know, we have this kind of. Um, Instead of expressing your anger and frustration, just give them a cold shoulder, and then that's uh, we call that as a you know you're so you're unhealthy, sulking, dude. you know. Like. It's so unhealthy, especially <laughs> as you start it, to get older. It, um, yeah, you know what? With with Filipino couples, that's beautiful. It would work, but I got rid of that when I got married. Uh, by from the the first. Oh, yeah. yeah, I married twice. Then hey, yeah, from the first one. <laughs> So yeah, that won't work, especially with Arab men. <laughs> I mean, it works with me. I don't me. know. Really? Oh no! It works, because, and it's so strange because. Oh my god! I literally say something so so simple, and it's not personal, and I'm not saying it in a way to the point that I walk away, and I'm like, did I say it in a rude that way, so or did cute. I? Did I? I don't understand. My voice was exactly normal how it always is, and, and then, then I had to sit down, and I was like, dude. Like we can't keep doing this how because I'm getting upset, up? bro. For how no did reason. you make it up for uh, with her? Like how did you? I literally did you told talk her. To, did you, oh, okay. I literally sat down and I was like, "Oh, you motherfucker! I found out about tampo." <laughs> what did you and say? And she was like, "Tampo? How do you know about tampo?" I was like, "Don't be using tampo on me, yeah. motherfucker!" <laughs> like I know this now. And she was, and I was like, yeah, "Dude, know that whenever I say anything to you, it's not personal. It's yeah. just." Literally, could you put this on the right next time instead of the left? It's not. It's, like, it's not such yeah. a big deal. But again, I think maybe because of past experience okay. with other people she's worked with, or mm. I mean, she's been with us for six years now, and I, again, mm. like she's gonna bury me. That's that's how much we <laughs> oh. love each other. Like, oh, I want like, that. Can I watch? After she buries me, I want her to just clean my grave a little bit Can because she's still, on, she's still on shift. <laughs> so just bury me and make sure the flowers are neat, are like on my grave, kind of thing. Thank you. <laughs> Don't make them poor, but the flowers <laughs> yeah, in the wrong place. Exactly, exactly, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, man, honestly, like without her, the amount of effort she does, like incredible. Know. You lot are super women, honestly. On behalf of the Filipino government, thank you so much. <laughs> right. I'm the one the that's Philippine, making the rules good. The, country, yeah, yeah. the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. The thank you so much for taking care of us. That's crazy. <laughs> for dude. treating her like a family. 100%. Yeah. And you have to meet her one day for sure. I'm going to bring her mm. to one of your shows. How was it... Um, no, I'm gonna go back. Yeah. So, what were you doing before um, comedy? Before comedy, I used to work uh, in a sports city. Yeah. Okay. I was assisting the CFO at the same time doing finance work. So I was in finance department. It's a boring job. Yeah, I was an executive assistant to the CFO. So. And what was it that clicked where you were like, I, I just can't do this anymore? Oh no, I I still I I still stayed. I did. I started out in 2018. I resigned in 2021. Okay. After. F Two, three years. I loved it so much to work because the people there were like, I'm lying, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The people, no, nice. no, 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 really. Yeah. They were really supportive. And uh, they were even so excited for me when I when I announced that, hey, I'm doing stand-up. They're like, Yola, let's watch your show like that. They were so excited. Yeah. What really, what made me decide to just, it was, it was 2018. And I told myself, oh my gosh, I wanted to do something um, because my sisters, my brothers, they, they, they're musicians, okay? okay? They're talented. They can sing. They can compose music and all. Wow. And I said, what's my talent other than annoying everyone? <laughs> like, mm. I can write lyrics for songs. I can write poems. But what's really... I want to 
do something entertainment related. Have my related paid, yeah. Yes. And I said, okay, so I took three classes: film acting, stage monologue, and stand up comedy. Yeah. Then uh, stand up is the one that really um, drawn, uh, you know, to me the most. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my god, they they they're laughing because of that. Like, in the class, the first time I got my uh, my first laughs. Because we hadn't, we had homework. I didn't even know we had homework. Yeah, yeah. So I went on, went. Uh, it was my turn when Mina called me. Okay, we have someone here called. Uh, her name is Fatima, but she wants to be called Ima. <laughs> so because then I started. Yeah, because I'm no longer fat. Like <laughs> then that's it. Yeah. Like um, then I said, oh my god, they. I I love the feeling of making people laugh, but the I was control. at the same time scared because English was not is not my first language. Okay, so it was so difficult for me when I was starting out. You have to write in English. You have to mm. think in English first. I think in Tagalog. I translate in English. Try write in English, and then um, even now. Yeah, until now. Like even if I even now. Sorry, see, it's supposed to be even now. I yeah. said until now. <laughs> Yeah, but that's just because you're Arab no, no, now. Not that's because here. you're Arab. That's not because. Okay, uh, Salas, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, so I, so now, um, oh, sorry. So you see, so yeah, after my first show, I was invited to do uh, open mics. And then I was invited to so many shows. I was like, okay, I like mm. this. So, and so far, every, like, I did, my first break came when I was six months old. I had, I was the, like, Wait, you what? Six month old comic. Oh, okay. <laughs> I look like a baby image just walking around the place. No, after six yeah. months of start of doing comedy, I was I got my first break, and then after a month again another one. I performed uh, open for one of the biggest stand up comedians, Zakir Khan. Yeah. And and then I also uh, joined the Global Comedy Fest by One Africa Music. All the best of Africa's came here for a festival, and me, Abs, and Ty, we were yeah. featured in that show. It was the first time. Ever a woman and a local artist to be yeah. featured there, so it was like okay, crazy. Then after two years, so I did. Uh, I'm sorry, I did. Uh, we also opened uh, Comedy Kicks, our mm. club. So we started out that um, club in 2019. So I, I thought like before I resigned, I said okay, I have accomplished. Yeah, and my quick progression was mm. unexpected. And then I said, okay, this was, while, while doing this, I, while I, have, a, I have the full-time job, I was able to, to accomplish these things. Mm. So I thought, why would I not give this um, a try? You know, make it full-time. So yeah, then that's it. I made the decision in 2021. And now I'm a stand-up comedian. It's a wrong decision. I'm still poor. Okay, yeah, right. But- <laughs> that's why I wanted to ask you. How do you... Because I guess we're all in the same boat with this. And, and I know so many stand-up comedians mm-hmm. and friends with a lot of them here in, yeah. in our community, which you know. It's a big deal. Mm. It's fine when you're single and young, Don't 19, convince me. <laughs> you know, no responsibilities, uh, no kids, no husband, no wife, yeah. whatever. Even then it's worrying because you're like, okay, where am I going to get it? Mm. How do you kind of deal with that where you're like, because it's like singing, right? Mm. You get your break and that's it. You're done. You're not You're not going back from there. Yeah. How do you kind of find that happy medium between I need to believe in myself? Because obviously now you're using it as a career. You're making money from it. Mm-hmm. But how do you continue? How's, what's the best way to put this? How do you keep the self-belief in yourself that you will be headlining shows and this is what you're doing for life now. And because surely you have your days where you're down, where you get that deal with thing and you're like, oh, f- no. Oh my God. That's it's, yes. <laughs> Every day I go through that thought. Yeah. I think <sighs> when I left my full-time job, it was a calculated risk. Okay. So I said, as long as um, my, my husband supports me, my husband is, you know, <clears throat> and we don't have kids, like uh, we're okay. Um, and then I was like, okay. And t- for me, as long as there are people who would like to consume my work, mm. I should be okay. I should be good, right? And there are, there are days I would think, oh my God, what if nobody invites me anymore? No, but what if nobody wants to hear me anymore, right? Maybe it will come. I don't know, right? But uh, for now, for, since since 2018, um, my mindset is just to keep myself better. To mm. keep reinventing myself, to keep something, you know, uh, mm-hmm. something that people would want to see more of it, right? So I wasn't expecting that in the course of like in over like four or five years, I had 
done my how many shows I had done, right? And I still have people would always come if it's a big show. I love doing big show mm. like like the theater shows because this is where I do my I, I'm I'm okay at, in bar, at bar shows, but mm. doing theater shows is like my favorite my thing. It's my mm. favorite thing. I needed to be in the bigger stage because it's a full production for me. It's a whole show. It's a it's it's e, it's the it's e must work, you know. Mm. So that's every year I have that in my head. Every year I have to do something every year for the people who want to see me, you know. At first it was just, okay, people want to laugh. People want to be entertained, so I'll do my job. But now people want to see Ima. Mm. I'm, it's not that I'm carrying my own, lifting my own share, yeah? But um, but I, I I keep thinking that of that because it helps, it motivates me to get up. Like sometimes mm. I would say, Ugh, like... You know this uh, imposter syndrome syndrome yeah, they yeah, said? Yeah. I was Very like, yeah, I'm not even good. Like, what do you think of yourself? Who are yeah. you? Like, you can't even talk properly in English, you know? Yeah. But then I would tell myself, so what? Like, what's the worst thing can hap- would happen? Like, yeah. if, I f- if I mess up on stage. And, but the good thing with me, when every time I mess up on stage, it's even funnier. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. because I don't like to pretend, you know? Like, okay, this is me. This is what you get. Hollywood, you don't like my work? Don't come to the show. Simple yeah, as yeah. that. But if you like me, if you love coming to my show, and you made a conscious choice to come to my show, you paid the ticket, you traveled where you could have gone to other entertainment. Like, dude, you deserve the best from yeah. me. I don't and know what... And even if you mess up there, your fans are there. They'll, they'll like the fact that you messed uh, up anyway. They'll, they'll find I, it funny. I think so, yes. Yeah. But at the same time, the quality of work that they would get, mm. or of show that they would get from me, I'm not setting a high standard, but my best should be double best, you mm. know? <laughs> it's like uh, it's like music. Like, yeah. those shows are, are the album. Yeah. And then the little ones are the singles all the way yeah. through the year, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, really? Okay, yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah, that's a good... Uh, so you just need to make sure that the album is the one that when it drops, yeah. that everyone's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. So for me, I said as long as... So that's why I'm working so hard with other comedians in, 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 in the country like and other produce, producers. We're working so hard to make stand-up, you know, become as lux, you know as luxurious as mm-hmm. other entertainment that we comedians can rely on it as our source of living, you know? Mm-hmm. Right now, we're not there yet. We're just like a handful of comedians who are full-time comedians now, right? But we want it to be like um, one of the mainstreams. Um, we don't have a solid structure yet or foundation that we yeah. can um, say that we're there but slowly we're now 100%. like like 30 60 shows happening in a month that's a huge progress we did compared to in, to, in 2018 you know compared mm. to 2018 like you have to wait one year, month before you you had to wait one month to get a spot I would travel from much month to Abu Dhabi to get a spot you know mm. then 2019 I had a chance to start a weekly show weekly open mic at, at Sports City that helped a lot so all, most of the comedians uh, mm. in Dubai, it, that's what we wanted, a place to, you know, get get better, you mm. know, uh, to do open mics, you know. 100%. And we need that here. We need that here. So now, time. so thanks to, by the way, can I do just sh- yeah, do yeah, shout sure out? Us. Thanks to, to the I'll producers. I'll invoice them later. Yeah? I'll invoice them all later. Don't oh, yeah, worry. Okay, just no give no me no names. No <laughs> yeah. So thanks to, uh, of course, thanks to the Bomedy. Uh, the Bomedy is a pioneering school. I mean, without it, I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, mean I knew I was funny, but to say I was a com- I could be a stand-up comedian, I didn't know until mm. I tried and then Dubomedy guided me. And of course, we have also now Mad Cat Comedy. We have also Flamingo Live, Adjust Entertainment, Neat Chat Comedy for the Daisies. Um, and of course, my comedy kicks, my, my partner, kicks, hey, yeah, yeah. daddy. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just so happy because uh, this will be, this is my uh, source of living now. And I want it to continue. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if... So um um if if imagine in the country we only have like 30 comedians 30 like really mm. reliable comedians good comedians like you think stand up would survive no we need a, yeah, you need more we we need yeah. more we need more and also people seem to forget there's only really between 200 and 250 mm. world class comedians in the world in the world and oh. I'm talking about the the Bill Burrs, yeah. the Kevin Hart's, the the Cat Williams, who are doing those crazy tours. There's not many of them, yeah. which is why I think it's so important that here in this country we support our own because yeah. it's one thing that I've noticed is that we keep bringing outsiders yeah. here to mm-hmm. watch their shows as opposed to building our people here yeah. and taking them out. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, that's one thing. Uh, you know, given the fact that the the, the vast uh, work, foreign workforce of mm. the country. That's why they want to bring the A-list uh, American, British, yeah. Indian comics, right? Um, but slowly, uh, I, I love the fact that now, like, now the Y Comedy Festival, for the last three years, they is part of their lineup, the local comedians. Yeah. There are There is a segment called... It's like uh, comedy amortization. <laughs> we're, we're making sure that we have all So I am so, so, so happy. Yeah. And it, it started, uh, in I think in 2021, they added the line, uh, the local lineups. Mm. And then now it's 2024. This will be like, wow, the year three or you... I don't yeah, even know right. math. My After gosh. Corona happened, nobody knows so dates two, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the year three that we're doing it. And I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm ha we're happy that uh, Dubai Tourism and Comedy Festival um, now in putting the local lineups to the... Yeah. And we have also now, I, I will not say it until it's announced, but also local uh, uh, comedians uh, will be featured in one of the headlining shows, major shows at Dubai Opera. Nice. So I'm so proud of them. I'm just so proud of them. And... To see this, to see the progress of of the stand-up comedy scene, and I knew that um, I, I to see it, it gives me hope that hey, I should I'm okay, I'm okay. I, I yeah. made the right decision to be a stand-up comedian because um, there's there's the future there's a future for you. It, though it's hard to establish the career of this a-list comedian came who are from based in the u.s in the uk mm. or australia is very different from where we are because again stand-up is not a, it's not it's mm. yeah i mean it's not um how do you say this it's not so we're, it's not a staple of the yeah it's, yes yeah. exactly yeah so it's, it's like it's it's you can't say um um here you're a singer you're a musician you have a career here you know yeah, stand-up yeah. is only when there's a show, then you yeah. have a career. But you know why that is, right? And this is something that we're working on now behind the scenes, and we'll talk more about it later, is because we don't have a comedy club. Exactly, and I say but I just didn't want to yet. say it because I was like a little bit worried. Yet. <laughs> yet. Um, where it's just comedy. Not yeah. we're renting out bars yeah, yeah. and we're doing it and stuff. We need a hub. Watch this space. Where it's just comedy, yeah. seven days a week, yes. weekends we for headliners, yes. and where people can go and practice their reps and do the small room and do the big room and, and, and really build people and somewhere for them to go. Every aspect of every sport and music has something. You want to be a footballer? There's football pitches. Mm. You go and join a team. You start going to training. Yeah. And after that training, you get chosen for the first team. And yeah. it's similar. We don't have that progression. We have the yeah. five-a-side football, which is comedy. Everyone's True. meeting up in different clubs all around the place. Yeah. But where's the progression? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's why this whole community thing that I was telling you about, that there's huge plans there. Yeah, that's that's good news, really. Yeah. Uh, for sure, there are, there are so many um, people who've thought of this before. I just... Mm. I don't understand why it didn't push through. Because, and they, I always yeah. hear, you know, you know how. Okay, let's say just it, say, say it, it, say it. You it, know, it, like it. microphone is a is a very powerful yeah. tool, and so I think um, people. I don't know. Maybe they're scared that mm. it can, you know, like permit stuff and. Nothing's going to happen different than that's already happened. If anybody's come and seen you guys perform, it's yeah, wild, it's wild so many already. People who thought to build a comedy club yeah. but the, for them they the, i heard many times that they said it's just not feasible for it's them. not feasible for them because their heart's not in it and they're not doing it for the right reasons and they're not okay, a part of yeah, the same yeah. mm. crew like i said mm. i just picked my finger off um <laughs> i can help you yeah. like i said there's other people no, that's why i know you got disinfectant wipe somewhere here. i'm like, such <laughs> a good help you know um there's always someone that wants to be a part of something that has nothing to do with it if, if that makes any sense. Like there's always somebody that has, has money mm. but doesn't have that side of it, which is being a part of the community. Mm. Then you have people who are part of the community but they don't have the money. And mm. that's where everyone clashes because everyone has their own ideas. Yeah. When it's made for us, by us, and we're running it, it's going to be a whole different thing. Yeah. Like a whole different thing. Yeah, that's, w that's one thing. And another thing is, you know, you <laughs> the fact that... 
there's no security of your stay here. Like you are mm-hmm. here for you are here as. Don't yani, worry, we will all have golden visas in our club. Inshallah, <laughs> why not? We start with golden so microphones, the, yeah. then we get golden so visas. That, the thing is, like, yeah. you cannot really rely on really like. There's so many great good comedians who have left the country already mm-hmm. because their visa is done, their contract is finished, and everything. So that's also one of the challenges. How you building the communities because now you may have like okay five good comedians, then one of them gets sick or one of them. Least, you know had to go back home mm. so all these things and now you're back to zero again back to group. so i think it's important and i really 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 appreciate the fact that emiratis are now involved mm. emirati comedians themselves mm. because it would start it will start there you know when you have when you have regular comedians as producer i'm talking from mm. the perspective of a producer when you have um homegrown comedians like yeah. really who res- citizens or residents here <laughs> who would you know start this out then you will see that it the foundation will start there yeah. you know what i'm saying because they don't have they're they don't they're not scared of losing uh yeah, yeah. anything you know that they're, they're, they're they they live here mm-hmm. then so i think it's good that y- this this plan is happening and you're in partnership with the, some mm-hmm. of the local artists i believe yeah. local comedians right who would help you out for with for this one for sure i mean it's all of ours that's yeah. the, that's the thing if you own something, you have more to lose, right? Yeah. So you put more effort in. Yeah, yeah. So once everybody has a part mm. and a pivotal part to play, mm. and again, because we'll be the pioneers, mm. it's creating something great that's going to yeah. be remembered in 10 years that, hey, this collective started this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I think it's really important. It is. So... I'm excited. Uh, really, this is. Like, I'm excited, and I'm applying for. Yes, <laughs> please. Don't no, worry, we're all together. Man. Like uh, that's that's what we want. Uh, but but th- but while waiting for this, I just want to. S- I know it will happen one mm. day. I'm positive, actually. But I just want to also uh, give shout outs to all the venue partners. You know the 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 bars that allow stand up comedy because it's I will not name them but I just in general I just want to mm-hmm. say thank you to all of you you know who you are mm-hmm. uh, where our comedy shows ha- are happening you know because at first they were not also like really interested they wanted mm-hmm. always to have live DJ bands but quiz now night. they know if you left yes, it's now, a big difference to now, them now yeah yeah now they're like now they they don't question anymore if this brings them revenue or no. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, there's like they understand the power yeah, behind it. Yeah. So, thank you also because without them, where would we be? Like, seriously, You'd like be on, uh, where? JBR. <laughs> Just standing there, <laughs> turning ice cream upside down. <laughs> oh no, I know. <laughs> right? So yeah, uh, for me is uh, like your produ- the producers, comedians, and um, venue partners. Uh, these are the three stakeholders. Yeah. Um. Uh, in 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 stand up comedy, and yeah. of course the most Im- sorry the most important part would be the audience yeah, yeah, who would always come to watch the show. You know, hundred like. percent. So I, you, looking back two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty four now, like I would say I'll go back to answer. I continue the answer mm. to that question that how do I keep myself happy or motivated? The thinking, uh, you know, that was the surety of my of my path so now if i look back to 2018 and this is what's happening now in 2024 i am so positive that it's going to get even better better, in the next five years so to answer that question although every day i would go through that you know that oh no i am scared what's going to happen and will i achieve my dream maybe i I mean 80 percent, 90 percent, i will (laughs) Mm. because it's it's there's potential i can see 100 percent, dude and again like just like you were asking me about the podcast when yeah. you see it as when it's something that's a part of you, it's a 10, 15 year plan. Yeah. All of these things that happen along the way, we don't see them as the, as the achievements that they are. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and we yeah. don't. I, I had a conversation with my friend and she was like, why don't you celebrate all these little wins and little wins? And you've done this and you've done that and it's become the and yeah. I'm just like, because it's this is here mm. and I'm looking there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, so this is just a journey yeah. that's, yeah, it's great. Thumbs up. It's awesome, but it's nowhere near yeah. where I want to be. And when you have that, yeah, that goal, that, that bigger vision, you can, it helps you to deal with these smaller things that we're going through it yeah. now. True. And I just think it's, it's crazy. A friend of mine who's a comedian in LA was here recently and she was like, Dude, this Dubai comedy scene is better than America. 
she was loving it. She was like, look, well, I, th there's something special about the Dubai comedy scene. It's different. Yeah. Um, because we all know in the comedy scene, it's very cutthroat. And especially outside, yeah. there's not much friendship going on between... Mm. Do you find mm. that here? Let me get you to say something wrong. How do you feel it is here with amongst comedians? And what do you think needs to change, if anything? Clip this. This is TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, when it comes to... Is, are we talking about competition or... Look, you take the question how you take it and tell me what answer comes from you. So the, things, the thing is, most of the comedians now, the, the seasoned comedians, mm. we're part of the journey where we're all struggling in the beginning. So we know the difficulty of each one of us experience. So we, to, for, for it to, to, to work, we, we made a decision to support each other, mm. to not be a competition to each other, you know, it has to be because one if one only one only one comedian is going up you bring the the nine you yeah. know you carry the nine with you but this now if this nine tries to bring you down you're all down no yeah. one is there anymore you yeah. know so i think uh, so far um i would say there's a very strong community f you know uh, of stand up comedians here and i, I know i, I I don't know, like, um, I don't believe in competition between comics, I would say, because your humor is different from mine, mm. you know? All of us has a space here. Like, yeah. um, it's, it's a good it's good variety that we offer to, to the audience. Yeah, especially the mixture of people from because yes, of this place. There are a few some from time to time, especially new comedians, they don't understand. They thought they go on stage, you know, uh, jump up and down and make fun of stand-up comedy and try to steal someone's joke and then mm. copy something from the internet. And now they think they're big and this doesn't it's that's a that's there's no longevity in that yes yeah. right, right away we just you know like hey you can't do that and you're gone like we have a very strong uh, group and then if you try to ruin what we have worked for for the last five years you're, we don't need you something like that mm. and i don't think um and nobody has this ego yet because we're all still starting out you know mm. i've been doing a comedy for the last six years but I, I i i'm still learning wait six years yeah just six years so when i saw you perform yeah in the mall of emirates yes that's yes that was your first year yeah that was my first year <laughs> wait how long into it was that that was in August 2020, right? With was it no. almost? Uh, oh. la, la, sorry, we're uh, that in was, 2024. It must have been 18. No, to, that's after. That's during COVID. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Ah, sorry. Before COVID. Huh? Yeah, 2019. Sorry, 2019 yeah. in Wall of Emirates. That's what's. Uh, so that was right at the beginning. Yeah, that's what, yeah. I was one Dude, year you were so one year good comic. Then. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't notice that at all. No, 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 you were really good then. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. I remember I won a Kipson's box on that. <laughs> a free Kipson's delivery. <laughs> dude, no, that was a no. that performance was really Does good, she, dude. Because yeah, it yeah. was uh it was Ali who was who was hosting that one. Mm. Uh, yeah. and Mina. Yeah, Mina. And that was really good. So that was the students from the sh from y Yeah, the course, actually that's one of their big shows that they invited me to oh, be part okay. of. Okay. That's Mina's show. Uh, the all female, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was really oh, well you. done, well done, dude. I like it. You see, and that just shows the confidence so maybe, that you had from the beginning. Thank you so much. So maybe that's the reason why we don't have problems within the community yet, within mm. the standard uh, stand up circuit yet, compared to others. Yeah, yeah. maybe I, because we're still all. I was trying Joe? to make it, huh? Did you perform with uh, Joe yet, Joe Koi? Are we gonna talk about him? Yes. <laughs> I love you, Joe Koi. <laughs> You're like. Love you. No, I've never had a chance to perform. Okay, with him. you need to open for Joe. He's oh, you been don't here know the so story. many times. Nobody told you. No. Well, let's gossip. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, what no, happened? No, because uh, actually, when he's it's for it, you know, uh, he performed here twice already. Yeah. So yeah, actually, he. <laughs> The producers, the venue, they supported, they wanted me to open, they applied for my permit, but his team, or I don't know, maybe he didn't want. Wow. I don't, yeah. I'm going to have a word, Joe, we need to talk to it. I don't know. And maybe I, I understood yeah. because uh, he hasn't seen me perform, so yeah. for sure, 
maybe that's one thing like we don't trust you yet and that's yeah, yeah. that's understandable you know yeah. second maybe they were thinking what you're not even known you're gonna be famous because i'll put you as opening act maybe well, what's wrong with that i don't know i was told that, to, that that could be one of the reasons number three um maybe i don't know a lot of them i don't is it something that you want to do is opening for Joe Coy more important to you than opening for anyone else in the comedy because well, of the whole heritage background? You know, as as I um, grow older in a comedy, I my dreams also <laughs> changes. Yeah. Yeah. Like I used to be like crying every day. Why would I say yes? A Filipino he was supposed yeah. to help me. He put a Filipino open mic uh, opening acts in the Philippines when he went there. Yeah. yeah, I cry. I'm done crying. <laughs> no, but then, crying but, then, uh, but then, but yeah. then I don't know. I think I would just say that I'll just say that maybe it's it's for the better that mm. it didn't happen. I I mean with things that you know what happened lately. <laughs> no, what happened? What am I missing? Sure, dude? Yanni, you didn't watch the Golden Globes. No. Oh. When he <laughs> when he bombed the whole show, he didn't bomb. I didn't watch but it, but apparently just, they were like. I love Joker, but it was kind of surprising that he threw his writers under the bus. Yeah. When people were like kind of not feeling the joke, and then yeah. he was blaming the writers. You don't yeah. do that. I mean, I am not. I'm not a great comic, but I even a two a two year old or a five year old would know that you never put some. You know, you don't know. You don't point fingers. Yeah. Like, I didn't watch it, but I heard that yeah, Twitter so, went crazy. So he and then he was complaining about the fact that he, he got the gig for i mean in just the, in, within 10 days yani mm. uh we, he got the gig only 10 days ago so so these are things that we didn't need to know mm. like um it, no, I, you gotta be a professional and it, it doesn't matter say what, yeah. that nobody wanted to take the gig you don't you don't yeah, need yeah. to say that you know but the joke that he did whatever jokes he did like i I didn't have any issue with him uh, offending anyone there because that's the whole point of. I mean, go did you see Ricky Gervais on, always, the, on the you know, Oscars? Yeah, so, so, as a comedian, you yeah. punch up, you punch up, you make fun of the uh, of the authorities, of the celebrities, yeah, yeah. and all those things. If there were jokes that didn't land, and it's okay, it mm. doesn't mean they're bad. It's 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 not the fault of a comedian if the jokes didn't mm. land as and you're also as affirming, intended. Affirming them not landing well by by acknowledging and saying that about the writers and that you're actually bringing yeah, more power to them, not putting landing. Them embarrass, no, yeah, embarrassing, yeah. humiliating your writers. But um, that, put that aside, what I'm saying, mm. because it became an issue that he was offending uh, these people. Like, that's not an issue because the intention of the comedian is not to offend mm. you, but this, this is the joke. If you didn't like it, it's fine because maybe your humor is just not for, for me. Like, mm. you know, you know, very basic. Humor yeah. is subjective. Yeah. What's funny to you may not be funny to me, but it doesn't mean the jokes were not... Um, it doesn't mean that Joko is at fault. But only two things my comments were there because I've always been asked, like, since it happened, I didn't give my opinion yeah. and I'm making it... My, I'm saying my, my take... My, what do you call this one? My take on yeah, yeah. that incident. For me, I didn't like the fact that he threw his writer, uh, writers under the bus. Second, I didn't like the fact that he was blaming uh, the f you know it's a short notice for him mm. to you know but he did but he tried something like that but if he did it really well <laughs> it would be a different would, story yeah, yeah. the short notice would have been like hey look i did this on short exactly, notice so yeah, it would have yeah, worked yeah. the benefit so it doesn't really matter if it's how many days you you didn't have mm. to say it you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but then the, the the second thing i was told that he had an in he was get he guessed he was one of the guests of andrew Shows, shows, yeah. yeah, in his show, and then I went to Philippines, and I heard the the the, um, the comments or what do you call this one? Uh, not grievances. What do you say? Uh, there's, Issues. No, because they are making tampo. The, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the comedians there, they were like, they were not happy with what Joko said because when he performed in the Philippines, he, um, he had Filipino comics uh, performed or open for, open for yeah. him, right? And during the show and before and after, the, he was like hyping them up and he was really talking nicely mm. of them. And he made a, he did some stories with them saying, oh, this this my men, um, this boy, uh, this guy's mash, they killed and everything mm. like that. So he was appreciating them right and then he was he was in the show of andrew and andrew uh, uh, yeah asked him how was the show in the philippines how was like how you, we have to find that clip i saw it on yeah, tiktok yeah. as well so they i didn't see it i saw it after they told me mm. that ima we didn't like really what what he did what he said um in the show of andrew he said his answer was oh they ate shit oh really <laughs> 
So, like, come on, we're we're still building up the comedy yeah, yeah. scene in, in in the Philippines, and now you're this is maybe he's joking. I don't know, but um, you, I don't know. And then mm. he, I'm not sure if he corrected his statement. So that turned me off somehow. Mm. Like, okay, this is the problem when you idolize someone so much and then you put him on a pedestal and then i think it's my mistake because i really looked at him like i want to be him you know hmm. i want to be like him is that you because know? of the filipino connection or just in general as a comedian no because i see myself i can see my you i see my style uh, yeah, yeah. i'm very loud on stage i'm very yeah, yeah. so he made me f- accept who I am because mm. when I started out, I used to pretend like demure, like uh, classy and blah, like like that. Then I see him on stage, like he just doesn't care, you know. Yeah, talking and, about Vicks under the socks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and, like and 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 yeah. uh, so it made me feel like okay, I should be more vulnerable on stage. Yeah. Like it should. This is how it should. Hundred uh, percent is the vulnerability is the most relatable yeah. thing that human beings could. Yeah, and he's a, talking about his mom, so I'm like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, dude, 100%, because I, I, I sometimes put statuses. Um, so my my podcast page on Instagram is, is pretty much just the podcast. No. Um, I don't put m- much personal stuff there at all, but every now and then I'll put a rant on a story or something mm. like that. And a friend of mine, she always comes and goes, hey, dude, don't do this on your podcast page and blah, blah, blah. And I always argue with her, and I was like, listen, that thing that you told me, not to do that story that one story mm-hmm. got eight thousand views i got about you know 800 people commenting back either agreeing or laughing or do i was like i'm not sony i understand if it's a brand yeah i'm a face a person yeah and people relate to this stuff yeah. and you'd be so surprised of how much people want to hear that stuff because it's relatable it's, it's being vulnerable people want to know that you know, or they understand that we're all the same. Hmm. So when you say something that someone's just been through a week or two ago, like that's when you start getting the most engagement with the stuff that you're putting, you know? So I'm always like, listen, I appreciate it. I Mm. know what I'm doing, (laughs) like kind of thing. Just leave it alone. Sometimes people, maybe they care. That's why. She's saying it from a place of love. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But I was like, it's it's not the same. Like if I was McDonald's, I understand not talking about somebody who did bad business with me the other day. (laughs) But I'm not. I'm just a guy who does a podcast. So I talk emotions for a living. And you are more relatable when you, when you're more human. Yeah, exactly. Like, so yeah, I had to change my, you know, in stand up, we have, um, you have your delivery that mm. includes your, your voice inflection, yeah, your um, yeah. body language and everything. So, and and mostly your delivery will be dictated by of, by your point of view, so yeah. your emotions, right? So I used to have this, uh, when I go on stage, I play this persona or, or character, I would say. And then I said, you know what? This is not real me. Like my tone would go up and like, mm. hey, everybody, well, how's you doing? I, I, I think yeah, you yeah. saw hey, some yeah, one of sure. my shows in, in, you know, in the beginning. And then I said, you know what? This is not me so now I, I just go there as who i am off stage and on stage you yeah. know like i'm loud i'm rah, 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 rah. yeah 100 <laughs> like and that. it works so, so well and it's your character yeah and i am and i am not i don't feel pressure pressurized yeah. that i am okay i oh imagine i'm trying to make you laugh i'm trying to make you listen i'm trying to make you think plus i'm trying to keep my uh, persona it was too much work for me mm. if you like me go if you don't go yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 100%. yeah that's it so when i saw joe koi also uh, i'm my favorite one of uh, one of my favorite why i did comedy um eliza slash yeah, yeah. can i pronounce yeah, yeah, it yeah, I know which one. now i don't like her also now because she's very vocal supporting yeah yeah <laughs> i don't like who she who she's supporting. 100%. so I, I i don't love them anymore i still like them as uh their, their work you still but, respect uh, their craft yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah but other than that i i unfollow them it hurts me mm. so. <laughs> how do you feel about cancel culture i've spoken to many comedians ah. about this um f- on all levels from yeah. very big comedians to low comedians i feel personally Cancel culture should not apply to comedians. They should be able to say <laughs> nice, the yeah. worst, yeah. the most racist, <laughs> the rawest stuff ever. I think they should just get carte blanche comedians. 100%. Like, how do you feel about that when someone says, when someone's going to get cancelled because of the joke they made? or You see, I always, when I'm writing jokes, I always ask myself, what is my intention for writing this joke? This is mm. my, my first question. What's my point? Why 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 I want to write this joke, right? Mm. 
Now, some people are just mean naturally. Now, I I have not met anyone, but what one of my worries as a stand-up comedian is if someone who is naturally mean and would use a stand-up hmm. to be able to exercise his right to be mean. This like is, Ari Shafir when this Kirby This is dies. my problem, right? Because now you're ruining the whole thing for us, mm. right? So if someone who is really like, who just want to offend, just want to hurt people and then use a stand-up, you know, uh, use this as a guy, you know, to, you know, like to, oh, this is an art form, but really your intention is to, is to be mean, right? Mm. This is where, this is, I don't that's know how, the, 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 but I, the, the problem is how do we know that's when it's, when it's, when we're close across the line. Do you know, do you know Ari the Shafir, the comedian? Who? Ari Shafir. No. A Sorry. very famous comedian from America. Huh? Part of that whole uh, upbringing of Bobby Lee and huh? these guys okay. that age. Um, he posted no on Twitter about... No disrespect to him. I just, no, no, no. Um, I just he, did not he, check maybe. He posted about Kobe being a racist, mm. uh, being a rapist just after he died. Like he said something like, oh, I don't know why people are so upset about a, a rapist dying kind of thing. And that was... That was not comedy to me. That's not comedy. That was just weird, mean, uh, untimely, really bad. So mm. that level I understand. But th I just feel like comedians who, like you said, who, who their intention yeah. is from a place, um, also who have well thought out. Yeah. Like I've seen racist jokes mm. performed by black guys and white guys yeah. against both. Yeah. But so well thought mm -hmm. out and the journey that it's taken you on mm. through the joke and so cleverly finished and polished that by the end of the joke, you don't even remember that it's a race. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it <laughs> yeah. is done so well and yeah, it's appreciated course, by yes. both. Yeah. People will laugh at it kind of thing. Yeah. You know? Even black guys will laugh at that joke and white guys will laugh at that, at, at yeah. that joke kind of thing. So I, I just find it very difficult now because I think we overdid it. In the last couple of years, mm. with this whole cancel culture, yeah. we went very sensitive and it's like, don't push that on comedians. Yeah. So so for me, going back to cancel culture, like mm. how, what's my... Sorry, I had I had to premise it with no, yeah. the intention of writing and someone who is mean using stand-up. This is my problem as a stand-up comedian. But um, again, a stand-up... With, with your intention, uh, if you know that you're going to get... <laughs> See, it's a hit or miss, you know? Mm. You'll never know, right? You'll never know if this joke will be taken as offensive, will be the reason for you to be can to, be, to get cancelled. But I think, uh, from my side, when I write something, I, my, I made a choice that my humor should be um, affiliative humor. It should be inclusive. Mm. Everyone who hears it, going to be happy, going to be able to relate to it, and go home with a, oh, who, who, a person who went home and who just, who just uh, had a great time with me. That's mm. me, right? Um, but I don't like being dictated also of what jokes I can joke about, what I can uh, I cannot joke about, right? Unless it's really between life and death or between um, like how we comply with the rules of the country. Mm. We cannot insult this and that. We can't talk about this. That, I, yeah. because I love my career here, yeah. I love my life here. <laughs> but it's, it makes sense. It's, I, I, I don't live here. I need to follow the, the rules, right? But I don't want to be dictated, hey, you can't joke about this because uh, it's, not, it's, it's offensive, right? Again, you are right. Anything can be a joke. There's no limit there. There's no, you can't tell me I can't joke about the moon. I can't joke about mm. this and that and that. You know, generally it should be like that. But because these people exist that can ruin your career, your life, your relationship, are you as a comedian? Are you up to what extent you're willing to take the risk? Mm. So that you should answer. Are you will? Are you ready to be cancelled? You know, what I'm saying. Uh, so for me, yeah. I would write and say, I love my audience. I don't want to offend anyone. These are my jokes. I'll play safe. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you are a performer. You want to entertain people. You want to make uh, address a controversy. You want people to think and debate, have a conversation about these things that you said. Go ahead. If you're ready to face the consequences, why not? Because there's no denying it exists. Cancel culture exists. Mm. There's no denying. But the whole thing now, if you want to be to remain as an artist and you want to have a, a dedicated audience, if your audience is not willing to cancel you after what you said, then go, 
well and good yani yeah. good look at dev chapel is the his dev chapel yeah now nothing that he will say yeah, will ever cancel him nothing yeah, but can even cancel joe rogan him, right? they tried to cancel joe, joe rogan but his yeah, yeah, didn't exactly. work exactly so i think i think as a comic there are levels to it right if you're dev chapel is okay you can say that mm. but if you're a new comedian if you're still trying out we're still all going up the ladder like of 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 the success in stand up let's say let's say the the the, the bar is dev chapel or mm. or joe rogan like that but if you're not there yet then i don't think it's a good idea for you yeah, to take yeah. the risk like yeah. if you just you know like what's the point now you're going to if one comedian would go out per second there in dubai mm. here in dubai and say something and then the government or the people of the the people will complain we don't want this we got cancelled all of us are cancelled like mm. will i be happy about that no because yeah. now you ruined everything for us right so again i will ask you how how are you willing to take this risk are you going to be really be controversial what's the point here just to get the applause because you want to tell people that oh i'm 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 yani i mean to what do you call yeah, this yeah i want to be uh, yeah. yeah yeah another so, word that you're looking for yeah, yeah, yeah something like that but but also in my case however i have this i have this again one of my um advocacies is to really make great an awareness you know like the philippine experiences we talked about earlier um i make light of um the situation that my kabayans are experiencing especially the domestic helpers right mm. but i try not i d- I try not to be so um offensive about it. Like I don't attack anyone. Like I I I fix it with my delivery. Mm. I have a very friendly de- delivery, friendly tone because no matter how edgy your your joke is, will always be acceptable when you know how to say it. Mm. Sometimes it, tone matters, you know, like your. So this is very important as I think as a stand-up comedian at least to me that's how yeah. I that's how I deal with it. And if some people so far alhamdulillah so far i'm not i'm not saying it won't happen but if it happens at least i'm ready um so far i haven't had any people who really like okay we didn't like what you said you know like yeah, yeah. complain about what i said though i was booked for corporate shows many time and, and you know it's different in corporate shows like sometimes like the instruction was oh you can joke about this and then when i did and the people didn't like it so yeah yeah and then you're like dude you got give me better instructions they had yeah, to yeah. call us let her go, get off the stage yeah, yeah, yeah. that happened really? and that's okay that's fine for me because i mean i was paid to perform but then you know <laughs> that like, was fine for me because i got paid before i yeah. <laughs> before they canceled me no for, for yeah. like you know saying like um um that happens but for me I, but to say that to stop the people you, you can't stop people also who want to cancel you like mm. they, yeah, like but they can't the they, they can't I think what, we became <laughs> oversensitive ah that uh, we we like too much sensitive to the the Karen sensitive yeah, where yeah, people too were trying much, to cancel yes, stuff yes, that yes. wasn't even like not even 10 years ago that 6 months ago would, would you wouldn't have been canceled over true but you know? yeah but the problem is they exist <laughs> these people yeah. like the cadence exist i don't want headache you yeah. know for me personally i don't want headache so why would i waste my time on these people right mm. so if i if if i want to talk about this i talk about it if i know that after i say it and there will still be people supporting me i would yeah, yeah. i would do it i don't 100%. care i'm not writing for them i'm writing for those people who want to who believe in me who who know that i'm joking you know yeah. that who would still consume my work after what i said yeah, yeah. you know so what's the dynamic did i answer the question yeah yeah 100% yeah. what's what's <laughs> sir, the dynamic with your <laughs> sir <laughs> what's the di- dynamic with your husband now that he's doing stand up because he started doing stand up yeah now, right? yeah and wh- i want to know how that kind of that conversation came it's about and how <laughs> yeah right tell me tell me what about before it. he used to support me now competition <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> no 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 i um i I enjoy I enjoy it so much in a sense that can you imagine your life partner you have the same wavelength of thinking now you know you mm. have the same you see things um before you see things differently but now as a comedian you have the same like some people would say it's boring because there's nothing exciting about it you guys mm. are doing the same thing together you know but maybe it's boring to others but for me I I like it because I I I enjoy the process of bouncing of ideas with so imagine he is in, into f- football and I'm yeah. doing comedy and yeah, we are yeah, home yeah. together I don't have kids and I, I don't really yeah, have yeah. friends imagine that and I cannot talk to him about my comedy I will feel sad you yeah. know 
and I, I can't understand his football thing. It's the same, yeah. So that, in, in that sense, I enjoy it. I like it. Are you ever worried about emasculating him by being a better comedian? Not that I'm saying that he's not going to be on your level, oh, but no, he started he's my later. Big fan. He started later, but the, no, no. But secretly underneath, do you think that he's a little kind of like? No, my. Shit, I, I need to up what my game. I like about him is very well aware that, yeah. he, like, he is my big fan. Yeah, like yeah. he knows between us, he's a fan. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's my first supporter. He's my back boner. And I'm just he's my back boner. <laughs> I like that one. I like that. Use it. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Sorry. Sensor. Like a cheese. Finally, an hour and a half into <laughs> it, she starts being emo. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. No. So um, he knows that. Um, I'll, I'll see again. What is being funny is very different to to every p person, right? Mm. So for for him, he likes my humor because I'm so energetic. I'm so this and that, mm, and then I am. Uh, like I don't care, you know, mm. F and his style is so different from me as well. So, and because I perform more than him, so I think I would say that um, people see me more than him. So mm. I don't think it's I'm funnier than him. So I think it's again, I who's to decide who's funny or no? You know, it's up to you, yeah. right? So I like his humor, but I enjoy my humor more. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a laid back, low yeah, energy yeah, yeah. comedian. That's not me. I, I again, I yeah, like yeah. Eliza and Jokoy. This is the thing I enjoy. And when I sometimes I watch myself after performing, I, I feel myself and I see how I, sometimes I make myself laugh. Mm. Be, yeah. No, no, I get you. I do that to myself every day, man. I'm, I'm the <laughs> funniest guy. I know. <laughs> like, like, do you know what I mean? And that's how we should be. We should be bordering on crazy and schizophrenic, which yeah. is which is really good. Narcissist, also. right? <laughs> Just, uh, as you do. If no. you could do a workshop, I'm doing workshop. No, no, wait, wait. <laughs> Steady, show, 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 show. If you could do a workshop, can I drink water? Not teaching. Huh? Yeah, of course yeah, you can. Not, Thank you so not much. Dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you went I'm back so into the trauma. Lupia, waiting for order. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you could do a workshop, and when I say do a workshop, be a student in a workshop with any comedian taking it from past to present dead or alive who would it be oh my gosh I love so this if i said you've got one month to be trained under this, this person question. oh my gosh uh, you would not believe this nate nate diaz from the ufc nate bar, bar, bar what's his name bar, how do you pronounce his name my god bar, bar, bar gods bar gods Nate, yeah, he's a he's a comedian. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't how do you, I don't know how do you read this name. B A R G A T Z E. Bar Gates, Bar Gates. Bar Gates. I, I don't, don't know, know, man. Why okay. <laughs> I want to I want to do his work. Him and uh, Anthony Jeselnik. Okay. Interesting. Yes. yes. Why? Because um, you know there are three elements of stand up. Oh, I'm teaching you. Now. <laughs> there are three okay. elements of stand up. Yeah. Okay. You have your structure, your content, and your delivery. I'm satisfied with my delivery. I'm satisfied satisfied with my content, my material. Mm -hmm. My problem is the writing. Okay. And this peop these two comics, to me at least, like the structure is so obvious. How and <sighs> I want to learn how they the the writing process. Mm. And how I want to know what made them decide to choose these laugh triggers. So. You know, like these laugh points, so or say the jokes. It could be, is it sometimes uh, they would go for a surprise, yeah, for a, um, a reverse humor or for um, sarcasm, irony, um, or uh, an embarrassment or incongruity, right? These are your laugh points. Yeah. I want to know what made you use. Why, why this one? Because punchlines can be swapped out yeah, yeah. hundred thousand, yeah, yeah, yeah. times, hundred yeah. thousand uh, times, not the same. And they can come anywhere in the joke as well. Yeah. So yeah. I, I want to know because it, when you you watch Anthony, yeah, yeah, of uh, course. Uh, like deadpan, one line, and it's dark. Yeah. It's like uh, the thick is uh, you know to be a great writer is all there you yeah, know yeah. like even his uh, who's teach his teacher was um, Jerry Corley, he even like even he's like so impressed of Anthony Jeselnik. Yeah. So I wanna maybe one month and then Nate is um, Nate is I wanna understand how. <laughs> I love you should watch him yeah. and then you tell me Ima yes you yeah, tell yeah. me your feedback Nate I, what I like about Nate is 
again the same with Anthony but for Nate is how a mundane thing you know like mm. silly thing became a big deal now it's yeah, yeah. it is a big deal now now I'm thinking about it now like and how it's just the, snowballing into yes, a bigger how do you get and bigger and bigger to that? that's I want yeah. I think comedy is so beautiful and so interesting. I am, yeah. I'm sorry, comedy. <laughs> and you too, of course. Magandang. For sure. Um, uh. make, make me beautiful and not anything. Keep huh? it right. <laughs> but in a sense where it can be so clever, yeah. like Carlin, it can be so polished like Chappelle, and then you have Ismo. Oh, I love right? him. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. It's so basic. Yeah. It's so kind of childlike <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah but again there's like so many variations yes. and they can all be really good yes and i just think that's that's a very special thing and i think what what you guys do is a very beautiful very special thing and in a sense where i think comedians are getting an extra ticket to heaven you know in life <laughs> like no no i think it's a it's a it's a great purpose if Mother Teresa knew how to write comedy, she would have been <laughs> the perfect person ever. <laughs> like, because without noticing it, your passion is to bring joy to other people's lives. Mm. Selfless, like, okay, we won't get paid for it. But, <laughs> but I mean, imagine I in a room of 100 people that yeah. come to see you. For that 15, 20 minutes, yeah. they've forgotten all about their life, their bills, their arguments with their wife, their yeah. whatever issues they're having, you've literally taken their soul away from them, sat it next to you, yeah. let them laugh, let their body... I think laughter is a weird thing anyway. Yeah. Our body just decides to start shaking yeah. for, for 10 seconds. This is a weird thing. Yeah. I think there's something out otherworldly about laughter <laughs> like literally like have you ever seen someone laugh so much they can't control their body I, I, I they're like on that. the floor yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. like I you can breathe, rob them yeah. in that time and take <laughs> stuff from them and leave like it's it's such a beautiful thing that you yeah. can do that and i think it's hasana i mean you know what hasanas are right mm. so you know in, in our religion it says the prophet said to make somebody <laughs> smile or a smile is is a big yeah. hasana like so if a smile is a big hassle, then laughter must, must be an even bigger one. So if you're spending your life but out there... But do I lose the value if I receive money out of it? No, no, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because God, keep I'll me tell in you heaven why. only. I'll tell you why. I mean, I don't know why your shoulder's going to start talking now. You literally just put the mic there. But no, because <laughs> it keeps going like no, this. No, I'll tell you why. Huh. Yes, you did it for money. Yeah. But the caveat there is that you did it for money knowing there was going to be a hell of a long time where you weren't going to get money. Mm. and you sacrificed a lot and you put yourself through trauma and you put yourself <laughs> through nervousness and you and you took a big risk in your life yeah. and it might not have worked and, and there's, there's so many and 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 yeah. before the money comes yeah. that i feel like it was a genuine pure thing to choose I to do good right now my gosh yeah thank you, you i mean see if that you could way. start crying now this you, would be a great tiktok moment like. I'm, so, I'm so happy you see it that way no, but no. You, i want to know do you see it that way it do will, you appreciate it I that do, way I, oh, but only the, uh, sometimes though it comes to your head did you do the right decision are you stupid why would you do this you know like i would mm. i'm telling you i would sit and ask oh my god why am i doing this is this right is this sustainable <laughs> what if somebody funnier uh a funny a much more funny filipina will come out you know all these mm. things and then again you say you're not here for competition no one even if everyone is funny your intention is what yeah is for even you. if you everyone is funny you know like even if there are 10 filipino comedians 10 Fili female uh filipina comics is in the line is the, is in the lineup <laughs> like you know yeah. that you're so yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> no but you know you know who you are like yeah. you may be uh, Okay, we are all Filipinos. We have shared experiences. I like for sure I'm not the only one who's experiencing uh, stereotypes, right? But it's how, but it's how you, it's, it's your perception, it's how, and it's how you, the total your delivery, how you write it, how you're gonna share, how you're gonna tell this story to people, you know? Mm. So it will we'll always be different, right? Because you don't, you're always unique from each other, you know? You don't share the same um, uh, thought process and all these things. So I don't get scared. But now, but I will not deny that there will be times like I'll be like, no, 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 this is not right. Why? 
there are so many funny pe people why would because my goal one of my goals is to really to become a touring a to tour you know yeah. um world you tour will. if i can yeah. and then of course to have my own special maybe on netflix or amazon mm. prime i don't know or pornhub whatever and then we'll <laughs> <laughs> i mean one of them is easier to get the yeah, other yeah, but yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 i'm joking and then so sometimes i i'll sit and i'll sit and cry no you're never gonna get it you're never gonna get it I doubt myself. You're never gonna get it because. Are you happy doing what you're doing? Yes. Okay, put the it this way. Is happy. You know I'm that happy. I'm happy. We, I mean, it's the cheesiest thing to say, but tomorrow isn't promised, right? Yeah. At least if you die tomorrow, you lived the last six years doing what makes you happy. Yeah. I actually. Whether you make it to your end goals or yeah. not, you did what made your soul happy. Yeah. So I think that's the most important. People think too far ahead, dude. They think too much of the end picture. You can fart. You Be know there's something called spontaneous combustion we, when you I fart know, too much true. and you die from the inside. That's <laughs> true. But sometimes, you know, when you go online, you see the success of people. You, We can't also deny that somehow it has an impact on you. Mm. You ask yourself, I'm why I'm not there? I'm funnier than her or him. Mm. You know, these things. It, this devil's advocate in your yeah, head, yeah, yeah. they come and go, but... Well, be aware of it. If you're aware of it, um, then you can go, oh, it's yeah. the matrix. <laughs> yeah. It's the system. So sometimes yeah. I would like put my phone down. I said, no, I am my my time. I have my own timeline. Is this Ema I have a better Ema own... than the one that was working in Sports City? Uh, right now, I, I think I'm better. Then yeah. you already won. Thank you so much. I'm and not, I'm not saying this is, I'm just saying no, this no, as no, a friend. No, 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 true, like, I agree. Just, I, I had never. You, I, you already won. I You've never, already achieved. I never thought of that. Like. Goal. You know, they say you should always be better than your, your, yourself, your version yeah. of yesterday. And I think compared to uh, myself when I was still working in sport, at Sports City, um, yeah, I was, um, I had so many inhibitions when mm. I was was working. And so many things that I had to like be careful with, you know, and so many, to, so many people to please. Mm. Um, and you're not even happy. You're pleasing them because it's part of your, part of your, you have to. yeah, you have to. And then also you see the, I don't know. I will not say because what? they might see this. Who is she talking about? Yeah, which you one of us is like, like, you, you know who you are, motherfucker. <laughs> you, you. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. And yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, but today, uh, what today? <laughs> I mean, as as a comic, I um, I don't know. I I'm natural. I naturally care for things, but I I doubled. It's doubled. Mm. <laughs> I care about everyone. I care about everything. Like yeah, hundred percent. You need to just keep. <laughs> Keep on the road because definitely you have something special, um, hundred percent. Um, and if it all no, but fails, sometimes I feel I we're worry. moving to a villa, so oh, oh. we'll need another helper. In the house. Thank you so much. I was I thought you wouldn't ask. My gosh. <laughs> no, but yeah, man. Honestly. No, but um, but uh, what do I want to say? Um, as long as there are people who want who like stand up, we should be good. Hundred mm, percent. Is there anything that you feel like we missed out? Mm. To, to, us to discuss yeah. I don't know Ah, oh, we have an upcoming show okay. when is it going to come out time flies dude this is coming I out next know, week it's, we've already done an hour and a half what no, is no. next week I'll do nine hours with you I don't mind I'm, so sorry. I'm just saying like I don't want to miss anything that's because, important that you want to plug or, <laughs> okay yeah, when right? is this coming out because we have Monday. a show on 29th it's coming out this Monday so can I plug yeah of course oh my gosh what okay. are you here for <laughs> okay okay so we have an all female um, comedy show sign up comedy show happening on 29th of March it's gonna be at Zabil Theatre Jumeirah Zabil Sarai nice um this is in still a continuation of celebration of uh, women's uh, women's international women's day okay. all female comedians but men are allowed are welcome to watch and listen nice it's <laughs> even better for I'm us i'm hosting it i'm hosting it's it like moulin rouge it's yeah. great. <laughs> i'm hosting it i'm so excited because we have new co new female comics but they're so funny and mm. uh it's a, it's an international lineup we have someone from Egypt, from Russia, from uh, Lebanon, from Lebanon, from Lebanon. Yes. I mean, it's a <laughs> bit joking. of a yeah, right? <laughs> so we have uh, Itali from Itali from Italy and um, uh, Iranian. So, so I think I know a couple of them. Yeah, I've yeah. seen Noha, Noha, Valentina, Noha, yeah. Valentina, Roxy, uh, uh, Denise. Yeah. Denise. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. and um, Sahar Ali. Mm. Nice. Sahar is uh, from Sudan. Not yes. looking forward to it. Do I, do I get an invite? Yes, they're all working for me. Imagine do I, this. Do people. I have an invite? <laughs> Are you inviting us to this? Or? Yes, of course. Yeah, we're going. Um, 
Jibber with Jabber. <laughs> right. And hello, sir. <laughs> sure, hello, you sure. can come. <laughs> we'll get you a special one made for your, yeah. uh, your stand-up. Can you imagine this? Uh, people are working for a Filipino. No, I'm joking. Yeah, right. She's like, Ting, table's turn, uh-huh. bitches. Uh, no, I'm yeah. joking, yeah. No, no, so, of course, you are invited. Who okay, Are you coming that. with your wife? With uh, Ate? One of them, yeah. You tell uh, me. Yes, Ate, I'll bring Ate. Three of you? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sige, sige. Nice. Sige po. Oh, sige, sige po. po. Yes. Um, I need you to make a video for Ate. She's going to share herself yes, when she sees it. it after. And thank you for and having me. I'm so, I was so Dude, scared, 100%. actually. Huh? I was re- no, you are such a good host. What do you mean? Because. I barely offered you water. <laughs> no, the conversation was like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wasn't talking straight you were talking we were talking yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're know saying we have we're having conversation no, no, we have much more to we're do we're having a conversation we, ha- we have much more to do and i like honestly. this we're gonna do more and more um we have like i said we have a lot of plans for the future and yeah. definitely you're a part of those plans i hope i made sense with huh? my answers to your question <laughs> dude 100%. again i don't know why you're worried about like, I know, I'm, I'm honestly s- this is the, the idea of this thing is I don't care about the viewers. I care about what interests I me. I do. <laughs> like, I literally... Follow me, please. You're a fly on the wall. If you enjoy the conversation, great. Stay and watch it. If not, Can then you tell them to follow to me, please? <laughs> yes, please follow Ima. Tell, tell, tell them where. Follow me on Instagram on social That's media. It. It's Ima Comedy. I-M-A-H Comedy. Boom. Yeah, um, but again, congratulations on all the success of thank that you've you. had. Also again, you. I would like to say you really do have something special. Um, and we look forward to doing more and more and more together as a collective. Yes, please. And uh, you're pretty much put in the list without me asking you if you want to be a part of the future things. Of course, that yeah. <laughs> I just, I just put you in there anyway. Yeah, and, uh, I always bug you, like, why there's no female there? Yeah, right? You're sexist. 100%. <laughs> no, I think okay. I need no, to get no you were as so well. nice. You've always, you've always asked me to be part of this, but yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't available. So. No, no, no. We, we have a bigger thing. She's such a celebrity, but I wasn't available. No, no. I have. Yeah, I, yeah. I do multitasking. <laughs> I'm a... She, you know, the cards in the... Hello, <laughs> madam. Yes. <laughs> I have three... Nah, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's like... Uh, no, no, no. I have three madams. <laughs> uh, dude... It's been a pleasure to have you, and honestly, no. you're welcome. This is your house. I wasn't feeling um, pleasure, but the way, yeah, <laughs> no, the pleasure. cameras have to turn off after. That's the it's second part. Ju- That's the Patreon part. People pay extra for oh that. They go God, Patreon. Yeah. If you want to see premium, the rest of this episode, <laughs> then subscribe.